All right, question five is all about the normal distribution, and so I'm glad I've got my normal distribution stamp here. You can get these on Amazon. So in part A, we're trying to figure out what cuts off the lower 25% of battery lives. And otherwise, we're trying to find quartile one. So we'll start by stamping a normal curve and labeling it with the mean at zero, and we'll go out three standard deviations. And from the stem of the problem, we found out that the mean of the battery lives is 30 and the standard deviation is eight. So we've labeled the axis two ways in Z scores and in battery life. So now let's figure out what cuts off exactly the lower 25%. To do this, we're gonna use the calculator. And if we go to second VARS and go to inverse norm, it says, what area are you interested in cutting off? 0.25. And when I go to here, paste and enter, I get a z-score of negative 0.674. Now using the z-score formula and a little bit of algebra, you could solve the rest. We know that negative 0.6745 has to equal whatever the battery life that cuts off the lower 25% of data minus the mean divided by eight. But I'm gonna show you an easier way on the calculator. If you go back to second VARS, and where it says inverse norm, leave the 0.25 as the area, but change the mean to the mean from the problem and the standard deviation to the standard deviation from the problem. There we go, it turns out 24 months and 0.6 of a month. So we'll say at about 24.604 months, about 25% of the batteries will no longer work. In part B, we want to find the probability a customer's battery will last less than 24 months. Now at 24.604 months, we know about 25% of the customer's batteries won't last. So the probability we're finding is going to be pretty close to 0.25, but it's going to be a little different because we want to use 24 exactly as our cutoff. So here's another normal distribution and the mean is 30. Here's 22. So a cutoff of 24, let's say that's right about here. So the probability a customer's battery lasts less than 24 months corresponds to this pink probability we just shaded in. To determine that probability, we're gonna use norm CDF on our calculator, and we're gonna go from negative infinity, because that's way over here, all the way up to a battery life of 24 months with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of eight. To access that on the calculator, press second, then VARS, go to normal CDF. Lower limit, you can just leave it right there or type negative 9999. Our upper limit, again, is gonna be 24. Our mean is 30 and our standard deviation is eight. So there we go, the actual probability is 0.2266 approximately, a little less than 0.25. In part C, they tell us a little bit more about this warranty. It turns out if the customer purchases the warranty, the company gets $50 if they don't require a replacement. But if a replacement is needed, the company loses $150. So since the company only promises a replacement if the battery dies within 24 months, we only need to worry about this loss if the battery dies within 24 months. So using what we learned in part B, we know the probability of the battery dying within 24 months is 0.2266 approximately. The complement of that event would be the battery not dying and the complement of 0.2266, so one minus 0.2266 is 0.7734. To find any expected value, you multiply each value of your discrete random variable by the probability and then add all of those up. So in this case, we have 50 times 0.7734, that's the no replacement component, and then add uh, the replacement component, which actually is a negative number, so we'll end up subtracting. It turns out for each warranty purchase, we expect the company to gain $4.68. That's the expected value. If you liked my explanation of this problem, you might like my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It has 100 problems in it, and every single problem has a YouTube video like this explaining every single step, every single calculator command, everything. 
So a lot of classes this year have used this book for a study aid for the AP exam, and some teachers have even used it for a flipped classroom design. Also, if you're an AP stats teacher or a college statistics teacher and you want a free copy of this book, uh, send me an email and I'd be happy to send you one.